y'all it's Jess welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be talking about a pest that is killing one of my plants and that is the bagworm so we are in the middle of July it is hot 90 degrees out here and the bagworms are out so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the plant talk about the pest and how I'm going to treat it so let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to be treating all right, you guys, so here we are in my front yard. If you guys have been following along for several years, you all will know that I have a nice hedge of arborvitae balls lining both sides of my driveway. They've gotten huge, you guys, they've doing so well. But I did notice about a month ago that this one right here in the center was starting to suffer. And I actually thought that it was just dry, so I just kept watering it and it just kept going downhill. So as you guys can see, it is suffering from a bad case of bagworms. So these are actual moths that will decimate your plants in the summertime. They love to feed on arborvitaes. So I'm gonna get you a nice close view of what they look like. So if you can see that kind of like, it looks like a pine cone almost, but it's actually a moth and they form, oh, let me just look at this one here. See how that one's moving? That's the moth feeding on my plant. So they form a nice like silk-like structure to protect themselves. So they're actually inside of that structure. So you can pull them off and just squish them and that will kill them. Um, you can also treat them with sprays. You can soak them, um, just pull them off manually and soak them, which is the first method that I'll be using. Look at this one here. Y'all see that? Like look at it chewing. That one right down there at the bottom. Disgusting. Anywho, um, if you leave it untreated, it will completely decimate your arborvitae. So my method is going to be manually removing them all. I'm going to bag them into a, a plastic bag, smash them, and then I'm going to drown them <laughs> in a bucket of soapy water. And then I also will be spraying as well. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to use and let's go ahead and get to treating. All right, so I've got my bucket here and I'm just gonna dump in some Dawn soap. Just enough to make a nice soapy mixture. And I'm gonna spray some water in there. All right, so that's good. And then, all right, so here's what I'll be using to treat all of the arborvitaes on my property. This is Captain Dax Dead Bug by Bonide. I love this stuff, you guys. I use it on my house plants and my outdoor plants. Love, love, love Bonide's line of products. As you can see, it does kill bagworms, borers, beetles, caterpillars, coating moths, gypsy moth, all types of insects. But the first one is bagworms. So we are going to mix this up. I did buy the concentrate just because I have a lot of arborvitaes on my property. So let's go ahead and remove the ones manually that we can see by the eye and then I'll spray it down. So I'm going to throw a little bit of this into the bucket as well for good measure won't hurt. So y'all, it's like 93 degrees out here. I don't know how much of this I'm going to get filmed because as we all know, my camera always overheats, but I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can for you guys. the bag not going to use it so here's a closer look for you guys the worm is actually inside all of that silky structure um, and they're also wingless since they're in a worm format so you don't have to worry about them flying away they're very easy to pluck off you can actually just squeeze them and some like nasty yellow guts will come out that means they're dead and I just don't like doing that so I'm just gonna keep on plucking and you also do want to make sure that you're checking inside the plant as well
have to be careful because some of them will look like part of the plant because they actually formulate their cocoon with some of the greenery. So just be very thorough when you're searching your plants. you guys so it's been about 30 minutes and I think I've pulled off probably anywhere from 75 to 100 worms at this point so I pulled off all that I could see with the naked eye oh wait hold on I see another one I'm gonna spray it down y'all I could not find my hose in sprayer for some reason so I just mix up the water and concentrate in this spray bottle and I'm gonna treat this one I did also see a couple of worms chewing on this one beside it um, so I'm gonna treat all three of these the ones that are immediately close to this one today and then tomorrow I will come back and treat all of my other arbor bodies on the property <laughs> Okay y'all, it is hot, but I just wanted to check in with you guys. The sun is starting to go down, so I wanted to get this information to you quickly before I run out of daylight. But I actually ended up getting all of the arborvitaes on this side of my driveway sprayed and treated. So I will go back in tomorrow and complete that side over there as well as the rest of all of my arborvitae trees around the property just to make sure that I'm treating them all. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information about when you should start treating for bagworms. The best time to start treating is going to be late winter, early spring. So end of February, early March is normally when I come out here. I do a walk around my entire property, check the insides of all of my arborvitaes, and I remove manually any bagworm sacks that I can see. And I actually filmed a video for y'all early this year, and I lost most of that footage, unfortunately. But I'll see if I still have a couple of clips that I can insert and show you guys the bagworms that I did find. So you'll actually see them in a little sack form around the middle of March. Um, at that point, you can remove them and that will help eliminate this type of population. So late winter, early spring, start checking for your bagworms. Of course, you can use the sprays to preventively spray as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is, let me flip the camera around. So now that I've got all of them sprayed, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to be removing all of this debris around the base of the tree. So I'm going to pick up anything that may have fallen, any eggs that may be laying down there. I'm just gonna try and remove all of that and replace it with fresh mulch. So that's gonna be the next step and then I'll check back in with you guys. So here is my bucket of worms. I know y'all can't see them because of all the suds and I also pulled some weeds and just threw them in here. So basically all I'm gonna do is let this sit out overnight and all day tomorrow, let them cook and die really, really well. And then I will be dumping this entire thing into a plastic bag and throwing it in the trash. All right, you guys, so I got this area all mulched and tidied up before the sun went down and it looks so much better already. I think this plant is gonna do just fine. And I know y'all are probably like, girl, just dig it up and replace it. Yes, I could have easily gone to the store and bought another one about this size and just popped it in the ground, but y'all, I've planted all of these little balls from tiny itty bitty babies. Like they were so small. I'll try to insert a picture for you guys. 
but it's just something about watching a plant grow from its baby form into a mature plant. So if y'all are plant people, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I pretty much just remulched this area here. I will be redoing these pavers and probably reshaping all of this sometime next fall. So stay tuned for that. Anywho, so I am going to be checking this daily. I will also be following up with my spray treatment on a weekly basis for the next three weeks. But I will definitely give you guys updates in my upcoming tour video on how this plant is doing. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you are facing bagworms in your garden, I hope this helped you with a simple treatment. It's actually really satisfying removing those bugs. So thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this quick little video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're interested in following along for more. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.